Hello everyone, I'm Eric with Midas and welcome to Music Studios. Today I'm excited to tell you about the new version 3 software for the M32 family of digital consoles. Plus I want to talk to you about our new completely redesigned M32 edit app. Now there's lots of great new features going on so let's go ahead and talk about it. The first new feature we're really excited about is auto mix. That's right, we've brought in Dugan style auto mixing to the M32 family of digital consoles. And you can find it on a new tab called auto mix right here on your meters page. Now working on the first eight input channels, we can actually assign these to auto mixing groups, which will automatically duck any open mics when a particular person is speaking. Now this will be great for those talking head type situations, or it's gonna make those corporate gigs with a speaker panel a breeze to mix. Now here with me is an X-Touch controller because our next exciting feature is that we now have fully implemented X-Touch control to control your M32 consoles via an ethernet connection. So here we have the X-Touch controller, which I have connected via Cat5 cable to a router, and that router is connected to my M32, which basically turns the X-Touch into another iPad or computer to control your mix. So as you can see, everything here is connected. So if I move a fader here on my M32, you can see movement on my X-Touch, my edit screen, and my iPad screen. Now we're not just talking about volume and pad controls on the X-Touch control. Now you can actually access all your EQ, your plugins, you can get to your effects racks, you can get to your monitor sense and so on. So this is gonna be a great solution for those M32C users out there that are wanting a tactile surface to use if the need ever arose. Now another great feature we've added is crossover filters to the master left right bust. So now you can go ahead and set up a full crossover without using your matrix mixes. So that's really great. Now taking a look at the routing page under outs one through 16, you'll notice that we've added phase inversion for all your outputs. Now that's your analog outputs, your alternate outputs and your auxiliary outputs. And this is gonna be coming in real handy when you're aligning speakers. All right, so now we've done the update to the M32 mix to reflect these changes so you can control auto mix from your iPad, for example. But the really exciting news here is, is that we've completely redesigned the M32 edit app. Now, as you can see, we have a brand new graphical user interface, which can now go full screen. We can pin windows on the screen, for example, an effects window or a graphic EQ or a specific bank of faders to always have up. Something that will work really well if you're using a multiple screen setup. Now, we've also added two user definable banks of faders that you can also set up however you need them. Another handy feature. And this is just scratching the surface regarding all the new features you'll find on the M32 Edit app. So this was just a quick preview of the version 3 software update for the M32 family of digital consoles. And you can try it right now for free by going to MidasConsoles.com to download. Now that's the firmware update at the M32 Mix for iPad and the M32 Edit app. I'm Eric and thanks for stopping by Music Studios. Happy mixing. See you next time.